morning so in this uh, bulletathon project i have chosen uh, uh, data analytics uh, for this uh, the project given to me is agriculture data analytics in crop yield estimation using ibm cosmos based upon the steps given to me i have completed the uh, entire process so initially i have created ibm cosmos analytics with watson uh, login and that is for a trial period of 30 days and after that i have created a new document so before that i have uh, seen the list of things available in crop production data set which was provided to me and uh, after that what i have done is i have uploaded the data set uh using ibm cosmos analytics with whatsapp uh, so i have used this option to upload so at once i i got uploaded uh, i can see the data set in the uh, selected source so below that uh, crop production.csv file we can see the list of columns available in that uh, particular uh, csv file so here we can see the visualization box uh, so the, with the help of this visualization box we can uh, use various charts like columns uh, tables uh, line charts etc so the first task uh, given to me uh, is um, to understand the data set then loading the data set so both the things i have done using this cognos then data in data visualization chart the first thing is uh, seasons with average production so here the heading was created just by clicking on this new tab and by renaming it uh, the heading was given as different season with uh, average production so here what i have done is i have chosen a uh, column chart so here is the column chart so it can be dragged and dropped here like this so it can be moved so here as you can see in this diagram the seasons are listed at the x axis and in the y axis the production rate was chosen so here in this diagram you can see that the season is listed in the x and uh, production is given here so uh, in order to get these data so what i did is uh, in the field menu in in bars area i have just dragged this season and in the length area i have just dragged this production so this can also be done by just selecting this production and season and uh, by control pressing the season production and then dragging it in this column box so it will automatically uh, give a box like this and after that uh, in order to, uh, usually we will get the summarized value as sum uh, so in order to get the average value we have to go to production then summarize then click on the average so automatically it will be uh, converted to average and in order to get different colors for this box uh, we have to we have to go to the colors then we need to get different colors for different seasons so just click on the season and drag it into the color so it will become like this and in order to get the data points which are listed here uh, you have to uh, you have to go to the properties uh, then at the bottom you can see an option named as chart in this you have to enable the show value labels and you have to set it as outside end or inside end or center or whatever may be the thing it will be adjusted and you can see you can get this beautiful graph you can also change the color uh, by using uh, different uh, palettes okay so that is also possible this is different season with average production and the next one is years usage with area and production uh, depending upon the area 
and production based upon the area so here uh, this is one of the line graph so this line graph is basically taken from this visualization chart here we can see a line chart so we have to drag it drag and drop it here at once we drag and drop we have to select on this field option and you can go to the sources and you can find all the column parameters uh, you have to drag the crop here to this x axis and the production to the y axis so that you will get a beautiful line like this line curve like this so here also uh, the production will be in sum so in order to convert the sum to average you have to uh, click on the summarize and then click on the average to get this value likewise there is also another one chart so here also we have so we just drag it down so here we can see the another uh, chart uh, so this can also be uh, obtained from this visualization chart that is the area chart here uh, you can see the x axis it is crop here and in the y axis it is the area initially it was area summation and i have converted it to average by using the same procedure summarize and average so this is with years usage with respect to area and production and the next one is state area by state uh, states with most area okay so states with most area of cultivation so here again i have used the column uh, chart so here you can see in the field box for the x axis bar i have taken the state names from the sources and for the length i have taken the area and uh, here uh, here there are certain things uh, in order to arrange it in a column form okay so here there is option uh, in this sort uh, in the state name sort i have uh, it is uh, set as auto likewise here in the uh, area field i have changed it to summarize and average initially it was sum i have changed it to average uh, then again in order to get different colors for different uh, places i have pasted the state name from the source to color uh, then in the properties in order to get the labels have uh, ticked the show value labels likewise uh, outside end location so here the outside end and the orientation of the label not to make it vertically look so i have changed from horizontal to vertical um, and uh, so here in this state name i also chosen the stop or bottom because initially So in this, uh, in the area, in the length, in the area, we can go to select the topmost states. 
So for that we have to select this box, then we have to go for field, then we have to click on this area, then top or bottom, then we can, we have to click it. Uh, if we need 10 states means we have to click on, uh, type it as 10, top count and then we have to leave it just like as it is. Then if we need 11 state means we have to click 11 so that it will be automatically changed. So these are the options available in uh, states with most areas uh, cultivation. Then uh, states with crop production. So here we have chosen map. So the map is available in the visualization chart. We can see it here, the map. So we have to drag it there. So at once, after dragging the map, we can see in the place of location, I have dragged the state name. In the place of location color, I have again dragged the state name so that we will be getting all these things. And in addition to that, uh, in order to identify the specific crops present in the particular state, we have used a filter. So in this filter, what I will do is I will just drag this crop. Okay, so at once I click this crop, we can see different uh, places, different uh, 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 different products which are available in different states. So I'll just tick mark this, and if I uh, do it okay. So you can see the particular state in which the particular crop is grown. So this actually can be converted to, uh, this can be actually added to Canva. So what this happens is this will be directly uh, pasted here. So that if I need to see another product means I will just click the other product and I will just click on apply so that it will be automatically changed. So the gram which is grown in all the locations will be listed here. Uh, likewise, I can disable this, then if I apply for coffee, so the coffee which is growing in particular location will be displayed. It means for all the products, this can be same. So this is for Apple, then this is for so this is for Eric and so this will be keep on change. And the next one is table. So so here also again going to the sources, then visualization, the table is at the bottom. So just paste it here, then again we will have the fields, so in the columns first I will select the crop from the source, then state name. So we will get the data like this, like this for another one seasonal crop also, we will just paste the crop and season. Here crop and state name, here it is crop and season. And then I have also included a filter. So at once I just click on this filter and if I select any one uh, particular grapes or gram and if I click done means. So in which places the gram will be uh, cultivated. So all will be displayed here. Okay, so this is a crop and season, crop and state name will be displayed here. Likewise the final one is dashboard preparation. All the individual things are copy pasted here. So this can be seen as a board. So here in addition to this, uh, I have included a filter. Okay, so just by clicking this, we can get the filter. So I've just pasted it here because if I paste it here, all the uh, uh, diagrams will be controlled by this crop. Uh, just by clicking this crop and uh, uh, and just by selecting any one of the product and just by clicking done, all the graphs will be changed. Wherever the particular product is cultivated, that will be displayed. For example, if I just include both, so again, whatever, what are the areas in which those uh, things will be cultivated, it will be displayed. And finally, I have saved with the help of this. Here the save is here. So we can do save us or auto may be based upon convenience. Then we can also share the uh, particular uh, thing. 
using this share option we can create a link for this uh, uh, component so here is the link so this can be copied and is shared to through our uh, needs to see our uh, visualization data analytic visualization uh, thank you